Hey, what is up guys? Armchair Tuna back again with another video, and in today's video, I'm going over a build made by Wolfsbane21, and this build is kind of unique as it's a hybrid between the classic slow-mo build, but also a healing build. And what that means is that not only uh, are you going to be able to constantly slow down your enemies, you are also going to heal extremely fast as well. Before we continue on to the video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it will help out a ton. And let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so starting off, we have the Rusty Spear, uh, just for mainly the infection effect and also to be able to throw it to deal a huge amount of damage. Uh, the Fire Ant Shield to, you know, work really well to where once we throw the spear, we're going to be able to actually defend ourselves and also to get that corrosion effect. Uh, the For the armor... Starting off, we have the Mask of the Mother Demon for poison and venom coating for extra DPS. The Termite Armor for the Dust Cloud effect. And the Ladybug Shin Guards for extra healing and block strength. And so far, this build looks like a hybrid of, a, of the slow-mo build and also a healing build. Uh, for the trigger, we got Giddy Goop just to fit along with all of the slow-mo. For mutations, we have Javelinier to be able to deal more damage when... Uh, we have Javelinier to be able to deal Forms damage. Uh, Coupe de Gras to get even more damage from our weapon for <clears throat> from crits. Sour Sensation to be able to reflect uh, some damage and deal extra damage from Forms if we get hit. Uh, Corporate Kickback to be able to gain massive lifesteal when we block and shocking dismissal to have a chance of getting an aoe effect when we block similar to corporate kickback and like i said a little bit earlier this build does look like a hybrid between uh a the slow-mo build and also a healing build from the ladybug shin guards and also corporate kickback and then we obviously have the mask of the mother demon termite armor uh the rusty spear for the infection effect and also giddy goop to slow down the enemies so this is going to be an interesting build it's definitely something i haven't really tried out before but anyways uh let's get right into the first fight of today's video all right guys so for the first fight of today's video we have the good old infected wolf spider just because you know uh slow-mo does work really well with extremely fast enemies and also if we take any bit of damage at all uh, we can just heal ourselves extremely quick because of Ladybug Armor and also Corporate Kickback. As well as uh, the Fresh Effect from Rusty Spear. So, this build is kind of a full counter to the Infected Wolf Spider. But uh, anyways, let's get started. So, starting off, um, we're already doing really good damage. And the Infected Wolf Spider is... Oh my god. So yeah, um... Yeah, Javelinier is really good, and you can see already, like, how slow, uh, the infected wolf spider is getting, which, like, all I have to, do, in fact, yeah, like, the poison in that killed it, <laughs> it just got absolutely demolished, but then again, this build is pretty much a full counter, like I said, because of all the slow-mo effects, uh, if you get hit, Either way, uh, you're just going to be able to fully heal up. And because of how slow the Wolf Spider is, he's not going to be able to deal insane amounts of damage like he normally would do. And also, he's also getting punished for hitting you as the Forms from Javelinier and also Sour Sensation uh, kick in to deal even more damage to him, which is absolutely insane. This build is really shining so far. But uh, anyways, let's go on to the second fight of today's video. Alright guys, for the second fight of today's video, it is going to be against the good old man, alright, as he is resist- not resistant, uh -huh, I meant weak to fresh. And uh, I feel like he'd be probably the best boss, excluding the infected broodmother, to try this on. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, let's get right into the fight. So, 
Uh, starting off, the main... Oh boy, uh, that's a problem. So, thank God we have the shield as... As you saw right there, since I missed the spear shot, it would have done a whole lot more damage to me if I didn't. In fact, I probably would have about died. And the slow-mo, as you can see, is already working extremely well. So let me just... But yeah, as you can see, if you get to the position I'm in, you can just legit spam uh, throw the shield. And also, because of how slow the man is, you can just do this repeatedly. Well, that also to any enemy, because, oh, besides that attack, you're going to want to get away from that attack. And also, combining that with the point. Ooh, I thought I missed it there. Co uh, like I was saying, combining that with the poison and also uh, the venom, you're going to be able to deal constant damage without having to... Uh, constantly be aggressive and also if you somehow get hit uh what is it the forms will will proc causing them to take damage which it will be stacking damage with the poison and venom and also even if you get hit because of how slow they are they can't really do anything about it so you can just sit back for a bit and heal yourself and even then because of the ladybug shin guards you're going to be able to pretty much heal yourself back to full. Like, as you saw, my health was about, like, a third down, and I only drunk, like, one smoothie, and I was pretty much back up to full, which was absolutely insane. But, uh, yeah, let's get on to the third and final fight of today's video. All right, guys, so for the third and final fight of today's video... It is going to be against the Infected Broodmother for previous reasons stated for the Infected Wolf Spider and Mant as this build is pretty much a hard counter to her. Maybe excluding the Rusty Spear as it does, it is kind of worse to use off than the Toenail Scimitar in uh, this particular fight. But anyways, uh, let's get started with this fight. Uh, during this entire fight, you are going to see me throw the spear a lot less because of, uh, as you can see here, reasons like that to where it can just ricochet off her any moment. Okay, there's my spear. I, I thought I already lost my spear and I thought I was already going to have to reset. But luckily, if you can get lucky like me to where she doesn't really use as many of her movement abilities or play as aggressive... Uh, I'm gonna go pop that real quick. We'll just pop the slow- all the slow-mo stuff. And, yeah, she's already out of her first phase. Uh, her second and third phase are gonna be a lot harder because of how fast she can move. But if I'm just able to, uh, stab her like this and, uh, I just missed the block. Of course I did. Don't be me and miss the block. Uh, as you can see, as soon as the slow-mo effects pick in, just spam the spear at her. That's all you want to do. And even if she lays an egg like this, uh, if I don't have stamina... Oh, she just healed. Unlucky. So, as you can see... As okay, or be like me and fumble the spear. She's already down to like a third of her health just by doing the strat I listed, so... What you're going to want to do is do this. As soon as all the slow-mo effects are applied to her, you just want to throw the spear into her. So as you can see, let me just do this. Which, ooh. I'm not going to lie. I might let her break my shield real quick just so it can reset. And also, oh, if she's just going to be stuck like this, then. Uh, I did lose my spear, so I'm going to have to try to get it back as soon as it explodes. Which... Oh, there it is. Okay, thank God. I thought it may have gotten flown somewhere unknown, but um, this starting off with the third phase of the fight, it is going to be kind of hard because she's... Oh, my block just didn't work for a second, but luckily I still managed to block. Uh, Yeah, we're already taking a huge amount of damage, but luckily with the ladybug armor, I'm able to replenish back to like full HP pretty much. Um, She's already down to a quarter of her health. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to do, but okay she just did her ranged attack for absolutely no reason 
Uh, I'm gonna try to proc my slow mo effects in before I start uh, spamming her with a uh, javelinier, just so I can get a huge amount of damage in. And right there, as soon as she roars, just do that. Uh, I managed to pick up my spear and look at that. She's already down to like a third of her health. So this build is. Oh no, she's gonna be bugged out. Yeah, so this build, like I said earlier, is practically a hard counter to all of the infected creatures or just really fast creatures that hit hard and deal a lot of damage um also the what is it the black widow would work really well against this build this build would work really well against the black widow just from the fact that uh well the same reasons i listed with the infected wolf spider and the brood mother and I'm not going to lie, we would have gotten this fight done already if it weren't for the fact that, uh, you know, she just kept jumping back and doing all of that. But, oh, I missed the spear. It doesn't matter because the forms clutches up for us. That did, like, a bar of her health just from the forms. But, as you could see, it's already been, it's only been, like, five, not even five minutes. I would say, like, four, mi four and a half minutes and uh i am doing this on what wrong game settings but i am doing this on whoa by the way uh here are some of the other game settings so you can see creature health scalings at one uh so this build does work really well against her and also it counters her really well uh the only downside i would say is really the durability but honestly it's that's not even that bad especially when you're throwing it and dealing insane amounts of damage and also you saw at the end that Sour Sensation as well as Javelinier's Forms came in clutch. Uh, to where I missed my spear shot and also my parry. And she was at like, a, I'd want to say a bar and a half, maybe even two bars. And she uh, got one shot because of that. But uh, anyways, if you all enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. As it'll help out a ton. And make sure to comment down below if you have a build suggestion that you want me to review. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.